It's Joel with Brooke, and I'm here at the Bay Area Maker Fair. Thanks to Matter Hackers. Thanks for bringing me down. But we have something awesome to talk about at your booth, Brooke. Can you, can you mention it, please? Um, yes. This is the thing that I've been sitting on for a year. You were so generous to <laughs> jump right in, and I'm up for anything. And that scared me to death. So the printer belt is here. It's for sale. It's six hundred dollars. It's a kit, and I am. That's not bad. It's kind of an unknown, right? There's only a couple people on planet Earth that have these things. And right. you're going to be in the club. Yes. Yes. I'm going to send you the first one, unless okay. unless the guy that actually bought the last one before you. See, what happened is I sold it to a few guys, and then I said, no, never mind. I gave them their money back. That's true. I'm too scared. So Bill from Polar, or William Steele from Polar 3D. Oh, yeah. Bill's good, dude. Oh, he's awesome, man. And I really hope that people that get these printer belts, like you, start there because okay. it kind of unlocks the magic of part after part after part after part. You can reorder the parts oh. just over and over. They just drop off the end of the bed, right? So definitely, so this is Polar 3D enabled. This I could connect this up to the Polar 3D cloud and print forever. Yeah, not at Maker Faire though because the Wi-Fi is like weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, you could. That's, that's the dream, right? Yeah. But it's a belt. I mean, I know everybody's like, oh yeah, MakerBot automated build platform. No, no, no we do not violate patents. <laughs> and that said, a conveyor belt in addition to X, Y, Z. So Bill came up with a brilliant idea. This is Z. <laughs> the conveyor is Z. So that's what it's doing. It's tilting X and Y at a 35 degree angle. And theoretically, you could change that to whatever angle you wanted, but oh. the so Z a, just a, keeps moving. It's a 35 moving. degree angle bend. And it's instead of having that giant frame around it, you've got a, it's it's a cantilever design, kind of. It is, tilted. it is. So you can see the layers go like this. Right. So that's how it slices. See the layers go like across there? So it slices like that, but it prints like this because the XY gantry is like that. So anyway, it's very weird, it's unfamiliar. People kind of look at it and scratch their head. How hard is this going to be? Is the slicer proprietary? I hand-coded the G-code for this. I was going to say, that looks but what's very funny, manual. What's funny is, really, once you get past this weird part, which I got lazy last night and uh, stopped doing the math on my calculator for how far the E needed to be, I was like, I am so tired of this. 40 layers of hand code. Once you get here, it's copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. It's all the same. Oh. And, and it's just, you know, hollow. So it was just trying to give people a visual. Yeah. But man, the, the cloud, that's why I recommend the cloud. What I like though, this is really challenging the normal perception of 3D printing because we think of layers and infill and Z going up. But now Z is on a conveyor belt and X and Y are at a 35 degree angle. And the concept of infill now is a little bit, you're still gonna need it on some things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm only printing uh, hollow because it's fast. Right. Yeah. Okay, but the infill, here's the here's the best example I've come up with. In fact, I'm gonna steal these. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. So you've got a model that you've sliced and these are the slices. Uh, get the printer bot, yes. <laughs> right? Okay, that's a happy coincidence. Anyway, so if these are your slices, if you were to look at after the post process, in other words, you just slice it, of course, remember, we're slicing like this, but forget I said that. So <laughs> this is your slice normally. Everything's exactly what you think it is, yeah. okay? All it's doing is shifting the layers like this because before, since it's a, you're gonna, you're gonna stay in the same location, so this is gonna move. So it's gonna put, print this first layer over here, and then it's gonna move it to print the second layer, and then it's gonna keep moving it, and it's like that in the G-code but when it comes out, oh. so it's gonna look like that, but it has to make a small Z movement every layer. So that's what it looks like. When, when you look at it. <laughs> so Z is, is just like is over diagonal, here. diagonal, yeah. No, over here. <laughs> right, so it just moves that Z. So once you realize it, you're like, oh, I could literally open up a slice. If I made my model in Fusion at a 35 degree angle, I could just slice it. And I could tell my, uh, you know, the steps for advancing the Z to be wrong, wrong. Wrong. Yeah. So it just moves the right amount for that layer height and then you don't have to do any post-processing. So there's tricks. But this is why I'm asking the community to join me. Right. This is not gonna be one of your reviews where you get it and out of the box experience and it's printing oh, no. right after. This, this is gonna is... be like, 
What's going on? This like, is playtime. This is tinkering. Well, with Polo this 3D, is... it's going to be pretty straightforward. And then you're going to sure. you're going to see what what do I use? Do I use tape? Do I use hairspray? Do I do use, use glue? This is a moving target. You know, it's hard enough to get stuff to stick to a bed. It's a heated bed. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use P P E I. Yeah. And I'm going to cut strips. So when it goes around that thing, some P E I is like kind of rigid. Okay. Well, I've got. Uh... If you got thin stuff, it's fine. You know, Magigoo makes a bed applicator material, and that I think it'll it. survive. I think that I'm really looking forward to it. I was using it. glue stick last night. Okay, yeah. yeah. I just got lazy and put some blue tape on it. I'm old never, school. Never be ashamed to use blue tape, I'm just saying. Why am I? I don't know. I don't know. I I'll work on that. Well, this is cool. I, uh, I'm i looking forward to getting my hands on this and playing around. I'll talk to Bill. I'll get some Polar 3D action going. Uh, Brooke, it's always a joy to talk to you, man. Thanks, man. I wish you the best, my friend. I wish Thank you, you the Matter best Hackers, as well. for getting them here. Woo! Uh, happy Maker Fair. Thank you. Good luck to you, my it friend. It is happy. Take care. Oh, no, we do this. <laughs> All right. <laughs>